company. You can see the fire here is starting to grow. And these trees that you are seeing that have been burnt, they were green. If we can go out here to the left side of our screen here, look at that tree. That tree is now engulfed in flames and that's called a crown fire where the fire burns the vegetation, goes into the tree all the way to the top and just has a ladder fuel from the bottom to the top. latest developments in the Creek Fire. That More than 78,000 acres scorched with 0% containment. Right now we're being told that several people are trapped by flames at Shaver Lake. We have team coverage tonight. The fire caused highways near Shaver Lake to be closed, leaving a handful of hikers stranded. That's all us. Not worried. Their safety in the hands of a thousand first responders and seven aircraft units. Cal Fire spokesperson Edwin Zuninga says winds dead and dry trees and terrain the biggest challenges. The focus? Protect Shaver Lake. We, we just ask people that we, we understand the, the times that they're going through and the emotions that they must be going through. And we just ask the public to just please be uh, patient with us and uh, we're trying our best and we'll continue to do our best. Standing higher and higher towards the tops of these trees. We're looking at ladder fuel, so small vegetation on the ground feeds into medium vegetation and then spews out these large, enormous flames hundreds of feet into the air. That's also creating dangerous conditions, what's known as a pyrocumulonimbus cloud. When all of that hot air shoots up into the sky, it cools, condenses into the ash particles you see in the air, and that's creating a large thunderstorm type cell that's producing cloud to ground lightning strikes, an even bigger danger for fire crews battling the flames, trying to get this fire under control. But really conditions here are not favorable. You can see the wind rushing towards the fire. Look at it there, fanning the flames there. There's also a big risk for these trees to topple over. We're dealing with dead trees, bark beetle that has killed these trees, making it an even bigger fuel source for this fire. We're looking at a very dangerous couple of days ahead. Humidity levels right now are at less than 12%.